guys, Bobby Redskins 21 here. So we're doing something a little bit off topic than my uh, normal Python tutorial, and what we're doing is a time program. So what the time program is, we're gonna um, print um, the current time and date on a computer. So the current time is 4:29 p.m. New Year's 2014. So let's go. So basically, before we start this. Um, I'm going to teach you guys a method, and what method is, is basically a function, so, yeah, um, let's do from date time import date time, it's basically a word that Python automatically knows and it has a function for it, so, let's set a variable, now is equal to date time dot now at the parameters. So date time is kind of basically like an object. Now. So let's set a variable to oh no no wait print now sorry I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's run it. Of course it displays the um, year date uh the year month date and, and military time. It's basically, um, if you want to make it more appealing to the eye, and this is um, how I do it. So, let's start off with a couple variables. Let's do current year is equal to now that year, if I can type. Current month equal to now that month current day is equal to now dot day so let's print it to see if it works print current year 2014 yep so it works so let's make it a little bit more snazzy, if you may. Well, um, so today's today's date is month uh let's see I'm trying to think month and that's called mouth. Wow. So month and then comma. Month current day of two thousand fourteen. So, um, with commas, you can print a string and an integer, um, in the sentence in the string. However, if you Instead of a comma, you do an addition sign to make them conjugate uh, together. Is um, you cannot do that because you cannot implicitly use integer in the string. So a comma will solve that problem. Or um, if you're using addition sign, just do string and just um, set the integer. So let's just do that for. Example purposes. I don't know if this work. Current month is not defined. Oh, sorry. Is month one day one? So we can do that, but I like to use um, commas. Sorry. So let's see if it works again. Okay, today's date is month one, day one of 2014. So let's do the time. The, the time is. And then we're gonna do. We're gonna set a variable for the hour and the time. So, current uh, hour is equal to now that uh, hour. Current minute to now dot minute. 
So today the time is current hour and then make this a little bit snazzy if you may want. We're gonna two columns and then I'm probably missing something here, but ah uh, no no. So today's date is month one day one of 2014, and the time is 1634, and that's the military time. If you want to do it in regular time, you just subtract 12. However, this does not work if military time is actually um 434. So. 434. So there you go, guys. Um, a time and a date program for you guys. So I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. So this is Bobby Reskins 21. See you guys for the next um, Python uh, tutorial series. Thank you.